Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Eric Jensen back with y'all again with another video. I was meant to do this yesterday, but my energy was depleted after a hard day's work. But now I'm back, you know, once again with some more pickups. You know, getting ready for this collection video in June. You know, shout out to my boy Reg, Tribero Gigolo, Dead Ain't Rap Podcast, my girl Ashley, first lady of, you know, Dead Ain't Rap Podcast, and, you know, first lady of Reg's channel, too. Shout out to the Big Yellow Rebel, a.k.a. Mickey, you know, over there in the vinyl community, such as myself, and the vinyl guru, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Speak Clock Podcast. You know, Immobility One. You know, all my underrated YouTubers. Um, LB. You know, so many to choose from, but so little time. But you know, I got a couple of you know pickups. I'm going to show y'all. I got a book. I had this years ago. It came in very pristine condition, brand new, most likely, almost near mint. But I see it got a little bit of damage on it. Damage on it, but it's still you know um readable. You know, but we're going to Queensbridge. We're going with a legendary group, you know, who should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think they should make it in, you know, the upcoming years to come. Definitely was a main pillar throughout that whole Queensbridge, you know, um, rap period throughout the mid to late 90s and beyond. And this dude is no longer with us, but, you know, he's one of, uh, he's one of many great um, rappers when it comes to like being authentic and keeping that new New York thorough sound, you know, authentic, unlike some of these niggas in NYC today. If we're going with the late great Bandana P, aka Prodigy, and this is his book, My Infamous Life, the auto the autobiography of Mob Deep's Prodigy. Shout out to Mob Deep, rest in peace to Prodigy. Shout out to Havoc, the H A V O C holding it down. Very, very, very good producer man very underrated when it comes to a lot of motherfuckers in the industry you know so this book is a must give you know to any you know homie on the block this is a must have for any you know um hip-hop historian especially when it comes to our late great rappers who's not here to you know um give their thoughts about you know their books and autobiographies and stuff i got the dmx book if i'm not mistaken in my collection i have to show y'all that at a later time but this is my infamous life, the autobiography of Mob Deep's Prodigy. I got this from eBay for like twelve dollars. You'll be surprised how much these books cost, especially when you know one of these legendary rappers dies. Shout out to Red for having that cool Mo D book. That shit is like almost a hundred dollars online. I have to get one once I get a chance. And we definitely do need to do that part two of the um, you know, cool Mo D list. You know, after he um said his top 50 you know greatest mcs and stuff if y'all haven't seen that video check out his channel the mc shan album review on his channel then y'all can just uh, be you know y'all can just be shocked and just be having your fun um fun funny box just overloading with like such laughter and such joy and stuff so let me not mix my words up and just be all over the place babbling and shit um, I got some cassette tapes now. I've been listening to Ghost, Epera, album that just came out. Definitely a very good album. I got the vinyl coming in, um, most likely this week or next week. So you know how it is with United States Postal Service and these other shipping companies. Sometimes you're going to get your shit on time. Sometimes it ain't going to come. And sometimes they'll just lose your shit and act stupid when you want a refund. But I got two cassette tapes. They're the same thing. I got the gold version of the color cassette tape coming in. And this is Ghost Epera, released this year. And I told y'all about this album. I already got this album. What the hell am I talking about? I had to show it to y'all. Wait a minute. I showed this to y'all in one of my other videos, too, of my latest pickups and stuff. I just thought about it. I got the Epera album. I got that from... It wasn't eBay. It was from... Sorry about that. It was from turntablelab.com. I think I got it um, up here on my shelf. I have to get it down for y'all. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that. I, I thought I had, um, still had it in the mail and stuff coming to me, but I got it. Let me show it to y'all. Just get these cassette tapes out the way. 
And the good thing about these cassette tapes too, the coolest thing about these cassette tapes that their color is like a baby blue color. There we go. Let me show it to y'all. I definitely love that, you know, design of the album cover. Definitely giving me like an 80s like horror movie, you know, feel to it. But you know, I'm trying to think of what um song I was talking about. I'm getting these words mixed up and shit. Uh, it was the second song off the album, Carcerion. If I said that wrong, somebody correct me in the comment section. That's the um song I was saying that 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 could have been an intro to like Fist of the North Star. But yeah, man, this is Ghost Apira double cassette tapes. They they the same thing though, but you know I got two copies of it. I thought I canceled one of my orders since I already had, you know, a copy coming on the way, though, but I guess I didn't do it in time, so I got two copies of it. Get it while you can. Ghost Imperial. Now, this last pickup, I've been waiting for this for months. Shout out to The Weeknd. Shout out to The Legend. Abel. Definitely a first ballot future rock and roll hall of famer, you know. I wasn't a fan of him at first, but throughout the years, after listening to you know, After Hours and, you know, his other albums done that film, um, of course, and, you know, his other work. Shout out to Dylan Jackson. Definitely probably one of the greatest um, weekend fans of all time. His videos are definitely funny when it comes to, like, him breaking down, like, the weekend's discography and knowing, like, the history of Abel, a.k.a. The Weeknd. Now, this is a vinyl, and it's different alternate covers of this vinyl from The Weeknd. And this is his latest album. <clears throat> I think this is the second version of the album cover. And this is Don FM. Expect me to upload this probably in the next upcoming months. But I already know how YouTube is. I will definitely get um like copyright claims and shit. But, you know, I already get that already. So I really don't give a fuck. So, you know, I don't make no money off these videos. And look, it's a track listening on the back of the album cover. On the back cover, it, it is a, it's a track listing. You see that? It didn't have no track listing on After Hours. And I think he's been doing that ever since After Hours. Or my um, dear man, Connie, if I'm not mistaken. He probably been doing it ever since After Hours. But, hey, who am I to um, know? You know, I'm not like an extreme, extreme, extreme stalker-type weekend fan. or like some of these crazy-ass Kanye West fans out here and shit. So, besides that... You know, my favorite songs off here is Gasoline, Take My Breath, Sacrifice, Out of Time. Definitely give me that thriller, you know, nighttime in Japan type vibes. Best Friends, Is There Something Else? Is There Somewhere Else? I Heard You Got Married, Less Than Zero. And Phantom, Regret by um Jim, a.k.a. Jim Carrey. Overall, this is a future classic album, in my opinion. Definitely giving you that futuristic, like type out of the world out of the body type vibes done fm by the weekend i think this is the second alternate cover from the original alternate cover with him looking like an old man but yeah man those are all the pickups i got today i want to thank y'all for looking at the video i try not to make these videos real long but you know with me having a lot of stuff in the video i try to you know get all of it out as soon as possible, as quick as possible as I can. So, these are my latest pickups. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.